All right, South Dakota State gets a Missouri Valley Conference win, Hank McCall, and it didn't look like it was going to happen. These football games are kind of like a lifetime. There's a long time. You can mess things up totally in one half and totally redeem yourself in the second half. That's what happened tonight. It really is. A, uh, it was a, a unique game, uh, certainly quite ugly at times, uh, you know, specifically in the first half. Nothing was really going the right way for the Jackrabbits. They just uh, penalties, turnovers, missed assignments, uh, y you name it. It all went wrong, but in the end, the Jackrabbits were able to find a way to win this football game, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. The first half, as you said, was ugly. It was mostly Missouri State uh, getting done what they needed to get done. Jacks uh, led 3-0 on a Justin Sirovatka field goal midway through the first half, but uh, then Missouri State kind of took over. Kalen Crowder on a two-yard run on a uh, short field after a bad punt by the Jackrabbits, just a 32-yard drive, but it was Missouri State 7, South Dakota State 3 at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, Jackrabbits uh, had that Lujan to Winicky 78-yard connection to get the lead back at 10-7. Yeah, there's, there, there is, a, you mentioned the word connection. That's exactly what there is between Zach and Jake. These guys, uh, they, they know how to make plays together, and they, they've obviously developed a relationship where they know that they can rely on one another, and that came out tonight. You're going to see it in the stat line. You're going to see it in the highlights. These guys were able to make plays tonight for their team when they needed them most, and it was fun to watch. That was all the only good thing that happened for the Jacks uh, in that second quarter, though. Kiara Harris came back on a 79-yard drive, touchdown run to put Missouri State up 14-10. to uh, Zach Luhan had an interception. Dylan Cole picked one off. Uh, that led to another Kiara Harris touchdown run on a one-play 16-yard drive, 21-10 to Missouri State at that point. Tyler Finnis came in for his series and threw an interception for the Jackrabbits. Jeremy Springer picked one off. That led to a Kalen Crowder touchdown run to make it 28-10 to Missouri State with the lead with about four minutes to go in the first half. But the Jacks uh, got a couple of connections again from Lujan to Wenicky. Couple of runs from Zenner. They get a Lujan to Winnicky touchdown with 30 seconds to go at the end of the first half. And 28-17, Missouri State in the lead, but a big touchdown at the end of that first half for South Dakota State. Yeah, a bit of a spark for the Jackrabbits coming in at halftime, putting points on the board. Uh, they knew they needed something, and a field goal wasn't just wasn't going to be it. They needed something for themselves. The crowd needed something for what they had just sat through, and uh, they get that touchdown. They're feeling good going in. They're able to make some adjustments that obviously made a difference in the second half. 28-17 Missouri State at the half. There was no scoring in the third quarter. About the only thing that happened there was another uh, Lujan interception. Vas uh, Vashon Landers picked that one off. Third interception of the night for Missouri State, but it was 28-17 at the end of the third quarter. And then in the fourth, early on, Lujan again to Winnicky. Great throw on the run by Lujan. Third touchdown catch of the night for Winnicky. They go for two, and Winnicky, uh, or excuse me, Jason Schneider with the catch there to get South Dakota State back within 28 25. And then uh, the defense was stout for South Dakota State from there on out. Zach Zenner rips off an 18 yard run here with about eight minutes to go to get down to the one yard line. He would take it in from there to make the uh, get the Jacks back in the lead 32 to 28. And then Melvin Tavares with a late interception. And uh, the Jackrabbit defense only gave up 80 total yards and zero points in the second half. Can't say enough for the effort that unit put forth in the second half. Uh, a beat up unit, a, uh, a unit that quite frankly was, was hurting mentally from the last couple of weeks and uh, just the beating that they took last week. To be able to bounce back even after a, an ugly first half like they had, to regroup at halftime, come out in the second half and say, hey, we've had enough of this. Let's do what we need to do in order to put our team in position to win this game. And they did exactly that. They really stepped up. Our defense was great. Jake Wenicke, by the way, eight catches, 183 yards, three touchdowns. Lujan throws for 310. Zenner with 149 yards on 27 carries and a touchdown. And uh, was, it, was this a season saver win for the Jacks, or am I making too much of that? No, you're really not. I mean, uh, you could argue that point. You really could, because going 0 2 at this point, you know, we talked about it earlier in the broadcast. Uh, that's pretty much a season sinking loss. You, you put yourself in that hole, you're in a lot of trouble as a, as a, when it comes to the playoffs. You're, it's probably not going to happen in this conference. So, uh, a huge win for this group, a win that they can build upon moving forward. There's obviously plenty that they need to clean up, uh, but like we said at the end, a win is a win chalk it up one and zero for this week on to next week all right at northern iowa next for the jackrabbits that's it here from coughlin alumni stadium